Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D and wow this is our first Christmas together so I really wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and make a very special video for you guys today. Honestly I didn't see the channel growing like this, we're nearly at 2000 subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough for all of your support, it really keeps me motivated and makes these videos worthwhile so Merry Merry Christmas. I really hope Santa brought you all the presents that you wish for and you can join me on Discord by clicking in my Discord link below and we can catch up there. But without further ado, let's crack on with this latest tutorial where I'm going to show you how to do the perfect walk without any foot sliding. And the crazy thing is guys, this actually isn't out there, this information. What I'm about to show you is game changing, it eliminates all the foot sliding and you don't even have to use the motion correction, so you know, it's a quick simple job. The funny thing is, like I say, nobody's done a tutorial on it, so this is a first. So without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're firstly going to click on our character and we're just going to go up here into the motion puppet. And we're just going to actually just put on a walk here. So I'll just preview the strut. And that looks pretty cool for this character. So I'm just going to record that motion now onto my timeline. And what we're going to be doing today is really just eliminating any foot sliding whatsoever. And it's so simple to do. I'm surprised it's not out there. Um, so, you know, we're going to really, really see the results today and how much of a change it makes. So with the uh with the walk recorded we're going to go to the beginning of our timeline and we'll just play it back to make sure it works and we can see that's been recorded onto our timeline down here now what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the end keyframe here and we're just going to punch out a little bit and we're just going to drag our character down a straight line exactly where we want him to be walking so we'll go all the way down here And we'll just drag that a little bit more. Uh, if we go to the beginning, we can now see our character walks. But you can see he starts off really slow. Look at the foot sliding. It really is evident. It looks really like he's sliding on ice. Um, you know, it doesn't look attractive at all. Now, this is the game changer, guys. What we want to do is to eliminate the foot sliding. We want to come down to this little node here. And we're just going to right click on it and we're gonna to go to transition curve. Now, this is where the magic's gonna actually happen because what this is gonna do is this is actually gonna, we're gonna place a linear curve on it. So there's not gonna be any kind of uh, slow starts or anything like that. Just by placing this linear on it, you're gonna see already the world of difference. Now we can see there's no more foot sliding. That's been completely eliminated and we don't even have to use the motion correction on the feet to do that so you can see such a difference so I'm just going to go to the before and after and I'm going to get a little bit closer here and you can just see the sliding going on you can see how fast the character is starting to move and it really is evident and now we're going to place that back onto a linear and you can see the difference immediately no more foot sliding the character's feet are connecting firmly to the floor and you know, it eliminates all of that foot sliding perfectly. So you know, it really is a game changer guys and it really is as simple as just creating your motion and then placing a linear curve on the actual preset and it works wonders. I'm surprised no one's done a tutorial on it, like I say. So another quick trick and something that's really cool actually, if you actually put your mini viewport on, you can do that by going into your window and turning it on in the window here on, or pressing F8, that will turn on your mini viewport as well. And this is really cool because I'm going to show you what we can do. We can create a camera. So I'm just going to create a quick camera here, create a linear camera. And in the preview menu, we can actually select that linear camera. And here we can keep it on our preview. Okay, so now with our camera selected, we'll just get the shot that we want. So. I just want an angle of the feet like this. So we'll just get that nicely framed. And then I'm gonna turn it onto my preview camera. So you can see now when I move my preview camera, it doesn't affect this camera over here. Now the reason this is really cool is because what we can do is we can go to the end of our timeline, which is about a thousand frames. And then we can actually just drag our camera in place and we will get the perfect follow motion. So we'll just line that up with the feet there. And if I'm correct, that should follow perfectly. Now just remember to 
set the transition curve on the camera to linear as well. And then you're gonna get perfect follow motion without too much headache at all. And you can see no foot sliding whatsoever in that scene. It looks brilliant and it really is a game changer, guys. So that pretty much concludes your tutorial. Uh, really hope it helps and really hope it helps you get creative and, you know, create all of them walking cycles that you want to create without any issues. As you can see, it is just a quick fix and it eliminates all of your issues. You don't have to use foot correction. So hopefully see you guys again soon for another awesome tutorial.